And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And we're going to do an Obi-Wan Kenobi Old Ben review. And we're going to talk about why he is good, where he is good, and we're also going to do some gameplay in the arena. First things first, let's talk about why he is good. And we're going to go to this website swgoh.gg where it compiles the data of people that have their rosters synced to their servers and you can see what heroes are being used in the arenas and who is doing well. Now Obi-Wan Old Ben Kenobi has been the number one choice for leaders. Him and Phasma I've got to say have been dominant in the arenas. I've been reluctant to switch over to him recently. I have been using Dooku and Dooku has fallen out of favor and has not done well at all, but I've been placing in the top five for the last two weeks. I usually am number one one day and then number four the next day, and I've been doing that every other day, placing the top five. So I'm having a hard time making this transition, but I know on paper and based on what's showing up here in these reports that he is really good. And I got to tell you, and I'll show you the speed mods. Obi-Wans that have the speed mods, I'm losing those battles. So he is being used almost 26% of the time on the rank one leaders. And compare that to Dooku. Dooku is only being used 8% of the time. But if I look at ranks one through 100, which means people that aren't doing as well are going to be in that data as well, you'll see that Obi-Wan falls off drastically down to 18% and Dooku jumps up to 14% where People that are placing the top 10 are using Obi-Wan over Dooku all the time. The other thing I've noticed on this is there is definitely a shift towards HK-47 and Jedi Knight Anakin. They were not showing up on this list at all a couple weeks ago. And that also kind of leads me to believe that maybe Dooku will have a resurgence if Jedi Knight Anakin is coming. Let's go back to the phone and I'll show you some of these mods that I think are really good on Obi-Wan. All right, so the main thing about Obi-Wan, I think, is to have a lot of speed. And I just got to show you this mod right here. And this is the mod to rule them all. And I wish I had like 50 of these and I only have one. This is probably, for me, the most sought out mod that I want no matter what. But the primary stat is 30 speed. I could use five, six more of these right now, at least four more. And I would say that this would be a very helpful mod to put on Old Ben. I do not have that right now, so I am using an assortment of speed mods and other mods that increase his potency for his ability and also other mods that also boost his speed. So I do not have my best mods on him. I just kind of have what I have left over because I'm still using Dooku and Geonosian Soldier. But I'm going to be switching over to Obi-Wan and Princess Leia going forward. Let's take a look at his stats maxed out. I do not have him maxed out. I know that the next one that I put my Omega parts in five days will be this one right here. Let's go back and look at his maxed out stat. Obi-Wan Kenobi is a durable Jedi tank that is able to shut down enemy offense with multiple debuffs. His basic attack is kind of weak. He is not a good attacker at all. Deal physical damage to target enemy and gain evasion up for three turns. Now, this is what Obi-Wan is all about. Mind tricks. Inflict ability block on all enemies for one turn and offense down for two turns with an 80% chance to remove turn meter. So this is why I'm focusing on potency and speed. I want this to go off. This effectively shuts down Qui-Gon Jinn from debuffing the tanks, which is very annoying. His leadership ability, which is very similar to Dooku's and also why everybody is not liking Obi-Wan or playing against Obi-Wan is because all allies gain 15% evasion and gain 30% turn meter whenever they evade an attack. And that is absolutely crazy. The only way I know to get around this is to get a high accuracy mod or to stun whoever you are hitting. That way they cannot evade your attacks. This is so frustrating 
to go up against a Dooku leader or an Obi-Wan leader and have them just dodge, dodge, dodge constantly. It is very frustrating. You have to work around it. And then his last ability, his unique ability, if you strike me down, when Obi-Wan Kenobi is defeated, he grants all allies evasion, critical chance, speed, defense, offense, health, defense, penetration, and critical damage up for two turns. And that is nuts. And that's also why I like pairing him up with Princess Leia because I can't tell you the number of times I've gone up into battle where I'm only left with those two. I've killed everybody off and it's just Obi-Wan because you want to save Obi-Wan for last. And Princess Leia is stealth. I mean, you can't kill her. You have to kill him. He dies and then she gets all of those abilities and you just die. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Raid gear only needs one raid gear, 650 purple parts. That's what I'm struggling with right now. That is quite a bit of purple parts. I'm having difficulty finding a lot of the last purple parts to take him to gear 10. I have him at gear 9. Now, I just want to say, I have seen many people in the arena with Obi-Wan with no mods and not maxed out, and they're basically just using him for this strike down, like they want him to die. They have the evasion up and the mind tricks. So for me, I just want him to go fast, have potency, and if he dies, that's okay, because it's gonna boost my ray, it's gonna boost Leia, and that's going to be okay. So let's go into the arena and hopefully we'll get a mirror match and see how that goes. He is constantly up in the top ranks of my arena. It's just pretty much every day I go against Obi-Wan. And it's a challenge to work around him. And I was using Dooku and Royal Guard to stun him quite a bit. Just show you the top parts of the ranks. It's almost always, look at that, old band, one, two, three, four, five, six. The top six players on my server right now are using him as leader. So, he is good, and I don't have him maxed out. I do not have Princess Leia maxed out also. I'm working on those two currently, and we're going to go up against the number nine seed to do a mirror match just so you can see how he works in battle. And I'm going to use him as leader, Leia, Qui-Gon Jinn, Rey, and... Royal Guard, and I gotta say, Royal Guard, Rey, and Qui-Gon Jinn are absolute musts, and I recently subbed out Dooku and Geonosian Soldier, so this is not my best team, but I think it is still very good. There's a lot of synergy there, and let's just see how that goes. I'm really hoping that I get the benefit of Old Ben dying and then having Leia still around to finish up. Okay, we gotta take out Rey first. So let's go over here and swing. And I'm going to get Foresight, which is also always very good. Okay, let's just keep going on this. Oh, I got lucky there. All right, so this is where I don't know how to play Leia. I don't know if I want to go stealth immediately or if I should just try to attack and take out Ray right here. I'm going to try that. Let's see what happens. Oh, nothing. Well... Everybody got the crit up, so that's good. And you can see that I've got ability block on three out of heroes. I've got offense down. So his Obi-Wan was faster than mine. And now Stormtrooper Han has taunt. And I'm going to be in trouble right here because my Qui-Gon Jinn cannot debuff him. Probably going to lose. But we're just going to see how this goes. Maybe I'll be able to do enough damage to wipe out these tanks. But this is a very, very common matchup that I'm getting almost all the time. All right, so my Leia is running lower on health, so I am going to, at this point, go stealth with her when she gets to go. All right, so we almost have done with Stormtrooper Han and... When it comes around to Royal Guard, I will attempt to uh, get rid of his taunt with Qui-Gon Jinn. If Qui-Gon Jinn ever gets to go, let's see. All right, one tank down. All right, we got to... Now we're forced to go against Royal Guard. This is bad. Oh, don't die! Oh, that was terrible. All right, well, the taunt went away on Royal Guard. All right, we got his ray stunned. So hopefully we can get Qui-Gon Jinn to go here to get rid of the taunt quickly. Uh, uh, so now this is the first time he's got to go. 
Oh my god, it's so late. I really need to get those speed boosts on him. Otherwise, he is not useful. Oh my goodness. Not not useful for me anyways. It's been useful for the other team. All right, Ray needs to go away as soon as possible. All right, now I can focus on Qui-Gon Jinn. I probably will pull this off. I'm not worried right now. Okay, so we're down to three versus three. I've definitely got the offensive heroes up right now. I would be very happy if Old Ben died. I just don't think that's going to happen. Oh, no, he's going to be dead here pretty soon. All right, Royal Guard is beast. I just think the best tank in the game, without a doubt. Oh, no. Oh. Let's see if I can... Uh, there we go. Okay, so now I actually think I want to take out Royal Guard before Old Ben. And we're going to run out of time unless I do this quickly. Probably can put this on autoplay. Yep, I'm going to put this on autoplay. And that is it. So... Unfortunately, we didn't get to see Old Ben die and everybody get all the boosts, but you definitely want to save Old Ben for last when you're fighting against him. And anything you can do to stun him or to get him to not go off first, I think the speed mods are absolutely vital on him going first and getting that ability block and offense down to go off. Anyhow, he is the best leader in the game. I also think Phasma is amazing, and we're seeing Anakin Jedi Knight come up, and also HK-47, and Dooku's been out of favor for a while. So, right here in the middle of the screen, there is a link to all of my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes playlists, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and keep on gaming.